Hi there. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can use MailCoach to send out email campaigns. MailCoach uses one of the big email sending services to send out emails, like Amazon SES, Postmark, and a few others. Sending mails through these services is much cheaper than using a service like, for instance, MailChimp. This makes MailCoach a very good solution to send out email campaigns affordably to large lists of subscribers. Let's dig in. Before sending a campaign, you must first have a list of subscribers where you can send your campaign to. Let's head over to the list screen. You can see that I've already created a demo list with 10 subscribers. Let's take a look at that list. On this screen, you can see some interesting numbers around the growth of your list. I have just created this list, that's why most of these numbers are currently zero. Let's take a look at the subscribers. Here you can see that this list contains 10 subscribers. Let's take a look at the settings of this list. Here you can specify the sender of all mails that are sent to this list. MailCoach can also keep you up to date about what's happening to your list. It can send you a confirmation mail when a campaign has been sent. A day after a campaign is sent, MailCoach can send you an email with an overview of opens and clicks. And MailCoach can also send you a weekly summary around the growth of your list. Let's take a look at the onboarding options. I think the most important one is this one, require confirmation. Whenever someone tries to subscribe to a list, we'll send an email to that person first. That email contains a link to confirm the subscription. Requiring confirmation greatly improves the health of your list as you are certain that everybody on the list really wants to subscribe. There are a lot of other options. Check out our documentation if you want to know more about them. Let's head over to the campaign section and create our first campaign. Let's name it Demo Mail Coach. Here I can pick the list I want to send my campaign to and I'm going to select my demo list. A template can also be selected here. I'm going to choose my template. This is basically some HTML that you can use as a starting point for your campaign. The campaign has now been created and we're on the settings screen. Here you can optionally enable open and click tracking. I'll enable that now and we'll see it in action in a few moments. MailCoach can also automatically add UTM tags to any links. This helps you track how your campaign is doing. You'll also see that in action in a bit. Let's save these settings and head over to the content screen. And here you can write the HTML of your campaign. I'm using a simple text field here, but MailCoach can also be configured to use a full HTML editor and the unlayer editor. Inside of your campaign, you can use these placeholders. We highly recommend always using the unsubscribe URL in each campaign so that subscribers have a way to unsubscribe. On the send screen, you can do a final check of your campaign. I've used some unstyled content here, but rest assured that if your email has some styling, it will render perfectly on this screen. You can also send a test email. Let's do that now. I'm sending a test to myself. Let's head over to my email client, and sure enough, the mail has arrived. Let's now send the campaign to all subscribers on the list. You could also schedule the campaign for future delivery, but we're gonna send it right away. Now MailCoach is sending out the emails. Because we only have 10 subscribers, it'll finish pretty quickly. For large lists, you will see the progress of the sending on this screen. Let's take a look at my email application again and see if they arrived. And sure enough, here they are. Let's open a couple of these. And let's maybe also click a link. And you can see that MailCoach automatically added these UTM parameters. So you can also track clicks in Google Analytics or similar services. Let's head back to MailCoach. You can see that it correctly reports the opens and the clicks. MailCoach knows this through webhooks. Whenever an email is opened or a link is clicked, the email sending service will send a webhook to MailCoach. On the open screen, I can see who opened the campaign. And on the click screen, you can see which links have been clicked. On the outbox screen, you can see who got your campaign and if there were any problems sending it. 
Okay, there's one thing left that I'd like to show you in this video, and that is how you can work with segments and tags. Let's head back to our demo list. And let's go to subscribers. Let's click on one of these. And you can see that we have a tags field here. I'm going to add tag A. And let's maybe tag another subscriber as well. So I'm going to use tag A and tag B for this one. And let's head back to the list. And you can see that we display the tags here. On the tag screen, you can see all unique tags that are used on your list and how many subscribers are using these tags. And you can use these tags to segment your list. And you can create a segment on the segment screen. Let's create our first segment. I'm going to call it my segment. You can see that I have some options here, but I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to only use the tag A here. So this segment will only contain subscribers with tag A. Let's save the segment. You see a preview of the population and this is correct. There are only two subscribers with tag A. And you can use this segment when sending out a campaign. Let's do that now. So I'm going to send out another campaign. I'm going to duplicate this one. Let's add something to the subject for people with tag A. And here I'm not going to send this campaign to my entire list, but I'm going to use my segment. Let's save this. I'm going to use the same content here. Let's go to the send screen. You can see that I'm only using two subscribers here. And let's send it immediately. Wait a bit for it to finish. And now that campaign has been sent, let's take a look in our email program. And sure enough, we got two mails for that segment. And mail coach also sent me a confirmation that the campaign was sent successfully. I hope that you enjoyed this overview of the campaign section of mail coach. Some of our subscribers have reported that they could send campaigns to lists containing more than 500,000 subscribers. So if you have a large list, don't worry. MailCoach can handle it. There are a lot of things that I didn't mention in this video, such as programmatically sending campaigns, creating external subscription forms and much more. Check out our documentation site to learn more about those features. That's it for now. Take care.